All right, welcome back. So, hopefully we'll finish up th today. So, um, F6, let's see what we need to do. F8, play CV function must return a value. So, it, it's a callback, so it need, needs to return a value, right? It's a callback. We really should say win API. So it should return a value, so I guess this is okay. Return zero, right? F8, anything else? The HWND, that's really the parameter that we're, we're passing it. So the LP, this we should cast to LP void, we should cast it to the hwnd like this hwnd uh, hwnd is casting of hwnd like this okay f8 i don't know what that is f4 control f4 and f6 rebuild or build and f8 get environment strings what's going on i don't know begin play what's wrong something is wrong stop maybe something is, is wrong with the blocks so let's see begin play looks okay and playback looks okay the structure looks right so what's wrong f Try it again. F6, F8, F8, win base. I don't know why it gets over there. Place CB undeclared identifier. So take place CB and place it here like this. F6. F8, 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 888. Eight, eight, eight. I don't know what's going on. Very strange. Unresolved win proc. Oh, so the, the compilation actually went through fine in IntelliSense, cannot overload function distinguished by return type alone. Get environment strings. Play. Right, that's okay that it's not able to find play because we modified the name to begin, begin play. F6, and we should also be invoking begin play. So this is now begin play, F6, okay, both succeeded. All right, so F12, F8, F8, so now we're creating a thread, it really should be invoking play CB. Will this work? Who knows? File play, great. So now we have, have a separate thread, we have a separate thread that, right, we no longer need this notification. We're no longer using the notification. So back over here, no more window messages. We're replacing the window messages model. All right, so again, back here. So over here basically basically we can go back to waiting for completion. Let's run again. Play F10, let's follow it. F10, 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 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 to the file. So let's test it. One, two, three. All right, and this, when the thread is finished, you could say it should be responsible for itself. It should call. It should call the close, the whole uh, closing, the the stop, right? It should call call stop. So over here, we'll just call stop. But this means one of the side effects is that we no longer have stop available, right? We cannot expose stop. F4, for now I'm just going to disable it, so it's going to be disabled. 
So if I again run from scratch, file play, F9, F5. To the file. So let's test it, one, two, three. And stop should have been disabled. Uh, I don't understand. Right. It should be colored as this, right? This, this, it's colored gray. Ignore this one. It's colored gray. F4. What else can I say? Gray caption enabled false. Grade false. Grade true. F5. Right? Because I don't want to really remove it. But play the application. So let's test it with functional. Right? So this is basically the idea. Our application to the file is functional. So let's wow. test it with three. It's completely responsive. It's fantastic. All right, but this is not exactly what they said that we should do, right? Because they said this is what you should do. So we're not using the event object, right? We're not even following our own diagram. Where's our own diagram? Let me close this. Where's our own diagram? Did I close? No, there it is. Right? Because we're not using the event. We're not waiting on the event. So we said this is what we what I solved right now is good enough in terms of the problem that we originally had. I presented you a problem, an irresponsive application. Now it's responsive. Alright, but since we want to follow the documentation, at least as far as we go for these examples, so let me try and do that as well. So, so over here, when I so le, okay, one solution is to use the weight, but another solution is this is only for completion. But let's say we don't want to only wait for completion, but we want to wait for any notification. All right, so this block might do the job. All right, so control V. Enter. Let me move, shift everything, tab, tab. Let me see. What do we have? So P event is P event extended. All right. If it fails, insert failure handling code here. Right, this is just our general throw if error. Let me place it over here instead of this. We don't need the H result. The be done, let me put it right before this. All the parameters and the event. The event can go right here. And the code can go just before invoking not wait but rather get event like this and over here we need extended f5 still a problem f8 left of arrow free over here as well extended f5 all right will this work so file play to the file so let's test it, one, two, three. Well, we really cannot know if it's good or not, so let me see if it ever gets over here. It really should wait for completion and then and then get to the breakpoint. So file play. To the file. So let's test it, one, two, three, and get to the breakpoint. So this is fantastic. This is exactly what they said we should do. Alright, so what are we doing here? Let's place a breakpoint over here and rerun or replay. So file play. Alright, so what do we got? So originally done is false, it's not done. And here is the actual wait for single object. Here we're waiting for the event. Notice that over here we extracted the event. We asked the graph give us the event. So it gives us a, uh, the, the handle of the event. All right, so we have the handle, so we can wait for the event. We wait a hundred milliseconds. We can also we can wait forever. There's no real reason to wait less than forever. So I could say I think negative one is infinite, but really we should 
look at the wait for single object uh, documentation which I might have open over here so there is an infinite okay if there is infinite so we should use infinite why not use infinite I like infinite control shift F5 rerun from scratch file play and again so we're gonna wait here an infinite amount of time but it comes back right away why because the graph manager placed an event the EC pause letting us know that it started running the graph there you go alright so we have so F11 as long as get event returns us okay so hmm, printf this is not so interesting I think printf control alt o prints out to here I'm not sure I really want to make sure we finish in time because this should be our last lecture for this series of lectures. Uh, by the way, this like this? No, never mind. All right, so F10, it didn't print out to here. All right, so free is it done well that's if EC complete is what we got then it's done it's not done and F10 well, it probably had no events so it returned uh, we don't know what it returned probably a false otherwise right it skipped probably F10 to the file so let's test it one two three great and wait for single object return even though we we put infinite I actually like infinite I don't allow my programmers to write anything else but infinite alright so F10 do we have an event yes because we're inside and is it EC complete it's one so it's good so so this time we have no more events so we skip the while and we're back this time it's done, yes, so while is false and we're finished. That's it. I have nothing else to say. Alright, with a minute and a half spare in this course, we I could say that we finished everything that I, I wanted to finish. Did I read this last piece of because the graph because the full graph automatically sets resets, right? Don't touch it. Okay, so Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being with us. This has been a fantastic set of lectures. I hope you enjoy, and hopefully we'll see you in other sets of lectures. Thank you very much, and goodbye.